Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this another update video and so I hope that you are all having a really great day thus far and so we're going to be taking a look at what is currently happening across the North Atlantic with of course focus being on the Caribbean and surrounding areas and we'll also talk about uh, this new trend with models expecting something by the latter part of May and so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tough notifications bell so that you never miss an important update okay and so we're gonna be kickstarting with the current satellite imagery of course and uh, we can see that there is quite a bit of convective activity noted out in parts of the tropical Atlantic uh, mainly along the intertropical convergence zone and close to the coast of Africa is where we have our first tropical wave uh, that is propagating westward and so uh, here we're looking at this surface chart and we can see the axis of that wave which is marked by that line and uh, there we have tropical wave within that area Area, uh, just to annotate it. And going back to the satellite imagery and taking a closer look uh, to the coast of Africa, we can see that there is no significant convection in association with the wave at this time. There is the activity out there, but in terms of that wave, uh, there isn't anything major going on at the moment. Yeah, let's drift over to the west and take a look at what is happening across the Caribbean. And so we can see here that there is an extensive area of cloud cover for some areas, uh, but likely less rainfall activity compared to yesterday. Yesterday, So uh, over in the east remains dry as usual, you guys, uh, in the Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands, down to Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados as well, are probably experiencing some beautiful sunshine this morning, maybe with some passing clouds at times, but there isn't anything major noted in your region. There's a little blob of some activity that is dissipating over Venezuela. Going to Central America, we can see that there isn't much activity there either. Same story for most of Cuba and the Cayman Islands, up to the Bahamas, and uh, for Jamaica. Make, uh, some passing clouds at times for some areas but there isn't anything significant in the region and so as we take a look down into further down into northern South America we can see that there is some activity noted uh, in the vicinity of Guyana we can see that there is some convection down in the southern part of the country also extended into Brazil but looking uh, at Suriname and French Guyana not seeing where a whole lot is happening at the moment but these areas are going to be continually receiving rainfall because of their location because of course the itch or the intertropical convergence zone helps to influence that rainfall and so guys uh, in terms of what is expected throughout today let's go ahead and look at what the GFS and Euro have to show for the rainfall and if you're not familiar with this map the more colorful it becomes the higher the rainfall total expected and so we can see that for the Caribbean not much rainfall is expected by the Euro model here maybe some higher totals in the vicinity of the Cayman Islands Jamaica parts of Eastern Cuba as well as sections of Hispaniola maybe for Puerto Rico as well but going over into Central America uh, not seen where a lot of rainfall activities likely you guys might receive some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout today over in the east uh, not much rainfall activity maybe a chance for some of the islands but we're not seeing uh, where Euro is expected much but as we go down into northern South America as I said that itch is influence and the activity there so we see that some higher totals are noted across the different territories uh, of course Colombia Venezuela Guyana Suriname and French Guiana and even going down into Brazil as well and then as we look at what the GFS has to show is it in agreement with this for the most part it is uh, we can see that the model is expecting that there might be some activity across some uh, sections of the Greater Antilles and the Cayman Islands. Uh, also into sections of Central America, we see some of those higher totals over parts of Honduras and Nicaragua. And then of course over in the east, not much activity is likely, but down in Northern South America, definitely likely that, that you guys will be seeing some rainfall activity later today. So that is what the models have to show in terms of the expected rainfall. And so guys, uh, we want to now go ahead and take a look at what the models have to show for the latter part of May. So some of the models were actually expecting that we could see something try to spin up off the east coast of the U.S., uh, the southeast coast of the U.S. as we head into this weekend. Uh, but more than likely, we're not going to be seeing anything major within that area. Of course, nothing is marked on the uh, graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. And uh, models are not showing anything. 
anything strong to, the, to begin with. However, there can be some increased rainfall in the region for parts of the southeastern U.S. states, such as Georgia and the Carolinas. And so what they are showing is something possibly for the end of May within the same region. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they have to show. And so here we are beginning with the Canadian model. And so this is uh, for... May 24th, that is next Wednesday. And we can see here that there is that increased activity. And uh, if you're not too familiar with this map, this is a map showing those isobars. Uh, we're looking for those black lines and their lines of equal pressure. And when we see them in a circular manner with a pressure of at least 10, 30 millibars or lower, we're looking at a low pressure system and that can sometimes be our tropical cyclone. So that is what we're looking for here. And of course, these different colors, these shades of green, yellow, uh, oranges, reds, they indicate the precipitation rate in millimeters per hour. And so as we look at this there, we can definitely see all that increased activity. And then uh, eventually it seems as though a low pressure area is going to be developing within all this activity and this is as we're going to be heading to later on Thursday. Uh, so uh, this is very interesting here not showing that the system is going to be making its way into the US. Uh, going to the Euro model we can see that by Tuesday, next Tuesday it is showing something pretty much similar uh, to that and then eventually we have that 10 10 millibar low pressure area developing a broad low pressure area yet again so it could be something uh, subtropical within the region and notice how lopsided it seems so not much activity seen on the western side of that system uh, likely as a result of maybe the wind shear displacing that activity to the east but uh, overall the model is not showing anything very strong the, uh, the GFS, on the other hand, is showing that low pressure area developing by the end of next week on Friday the 26th and eventually making its way toward the Carolinas by Saturday. And so very interesting to hear what these different models are showing. It is definitely not impossible because when we look at the origin points or the uh, major spots of origin during the early part of the season of the east coast of the U.S. is one of those highlighted areas because, of course, sometimes those fronts that exit around this time they might the tail end might remain behind with some moisture and under uh, the right conditions that activity could develop into something more it could develop into a subtropical or tropical cyclone and many times especially during the month of may we have seen where that is where systems develop so this is not something impossible and of course uh, as we're going to be heading into the next several days there are likely to be changes in terms of what the models forecast but I'm going to be keeping you guys updated with the latest because that is what I do here. So uh, that is really what I wanted to share with you in this update video. And I hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with wise.